Hello, the internet, and welcome back to the Gives a Minute live stream on the YouTube machine. It is Tuesday, the 30th of July, 2019, and today I will be live for one hour, 60 minutes. Can you fathom? We This is the 60th live stream from Gives a Minute on the YouTube machine, and that means 60 minutes. Another way of saying 60 minutes is one hour. Now that begs the question, are we going to be calling them 61 minutes, 62, 63 going forward? Or are we going to say it's going to be an hour and one minute, an hour and two minutes? What do you think? I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. In my mind, I would probably keep going with the 61, 62, because that says to me, if we ever got to like, well, we, when we do get to like a thousand minutes, it'll be like, and today I'll be live for a thousand and twenty-seven minutes. And I think that would just be something unique that no one else is really saying. No one else speaks like that. And no one else is quite the dick like I am. And I think that would be cool. But I will leave it up to you, the givers, to make the decision. Because this is a two-way street. We're both givers here. You know what I mean? I'm going to do my spiel. I'm not going to do it here. It's on the YouTube machine. That's only the D-Live spiel. But that's where we're at. I want to see the chit-chat here. Who's been up there talking? First of all, Mindy jumped in super early. I'm gonna be late to the stream due to an appointment, but I'll show up hopefully. Yep, no worries. Travel jet setter, I won't be able to make it today. No worries. Steven with a, is that a little mousy poo? That's a mousy poo, isn't it? It's either a mouse or a seal with a tail. I can't quite see from this angel. Uh, I wonder if I am the only one who has been wondering for like 24 hours if Gives a Minute bought some, bought himself some Dr. Pepper. And he's referring to, we talked about mixing Dr. Pepper with Jack. And I haven't. And the reason I haven't is because the Jack we're opening today doesn't warrant a mix. Let's just say that. That's what we're opening today on the stream. This is a 10th stream. Every 10 streams on the Gives a Minute YouTube, we open a special bottle of Jack. That's the guy today, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, just not of it. Yeah, and I've answered him there. And Stephen says, "Just enough for breakfast." And I said, "Now you're onto it." And then, ironically, Travel Jet Setter jumped in, even though he said he won't be able to tune in. Perhaps he meant he couldn't watch, but he could chat because he's gone back in with a few different messages there. So no worries, man. If you can't make it, that's cool. If you can, even better. He's on the train. The tri-rail train. I guess that's a rail system with three rails. One meaning one, meaning one and tri meaning three. Uh, Tim Arskog jumped in the chat. Hi, Ben on, Stephen, and Jet Setter. Um, I asked Stephen what's happening in Adelaide this morning because I we did have a... Uh, Stephen put a comment about the Torrens River on one of my videos and I got thinking about my time in Adelaide and it's a beautiful place and I miss it. So I just asked him what's happened there. He answered with nothing much happening new in Adelaide. It's freezing outside, but the sun is out, so it should be a lovely day. How are things on my side of the country? How's the surf looking? Dude, the surf, let me do a refresh on this. The surf is looking like it could be a big, big swell. Let me just pull this up and show you. So this is the Wiley Weather app, and it shows me the swell. Now, when I say the swell here, I don't actually mean the swell landing on the beach. I mean the swell at the ocean side where the, the buoys are, where they, they measure it from. Holy crap, it's gone up even further. So it's gone from at 10 a.m. It's going to be a 2.6 meter rough swell. Can you see once that gets a focus? See how it says rough there? All those charts mean nothing to you, but they mean something to me. That blue one that goes down on... On this side, it's gone down and it's gone up. That's the swell. So we are going to have us 2.6 meter rough swell and the tide will be pretty much as high as it's gone and then it's going to drop down. So it'll be a full tide on a 2.6 meter rough swell, which will mean bigger waves. We'll see. Um, Timbo answered earlier. He's had a nice drive on, on Sunday, 320 kilometers, 10 hours all up, locating and updating my Abandos list for urbexing and relic coin detecting. That sounds fun. I'd, I've got to say, <clears throat> as far as urbexing, not hugely into it, but I do I do like looking for old things and coins and relic detecting. That sounds cool. Um, Travel Jet said it's talking again about the towns and how, how the area is full of people. Four million people live down there, far out. 
Um, yeah, there you go. So I've been chit-chatting back and forward. Uh, Stephen said maybe you should do a road trip in Stephen. <laughs> Stephen said Stephen. Um, to Adelaide and back next year and come here when the fringe is on. The fringe is a great time to be in Adelaide, i got to say. You can surf all the beaches along the way. I do have a plan to use Stephen, but it's going to be going north. When it's cold here, cold. When it's winter here next year, I do have a plan to head north. Um, I've got to work out a few things, but... Let's just say, uh, you know what? Let's not say anything because it's 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 not conceived. It's conceived, but it hasn't been delivered. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch this out and and we'll get there. Um, so I just mentioned that uh, Tim Tim's looking into job wages. Oh yeah, we, we got into this discussion a little bit about jobs. He he mentioned a job in in Melbourne that's paying quite high, and I was, I said, funnily enough, I looked at work last night after the stream yesterday when we were talking about importing uh, duty-free alcohol. Um, I looked at what kind of jobs can you get where you can travel for free and then also obviously bring in duty-free booze. Um, a lot of Jack Daniels products aren't available domestically. You have to bring them in duty-free. And so I was thinking, what are the jobs? And I actually found, um, my brother used to do this way back in the day. What's it called? An on online onboard courier, an onboard courier. So you hook up with an agency and they say, we need you to take this envelope to Delaware and you need to do it tonight. So you jump on a plane, you deliver the envelope to Delaware airport. You either hang out there for a day or two or whatever it is, then you come back and they pay you to do that. And when you come back is when you bring in the duty free. So I was looking at that. I was having a good look last night. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but Maybe we can talk about that a little bit on the stream too, because it's going to be relating to the alcohol, I suppose. So, And the alcohol limit hasn't changed. 2.25 liters. Tim Asker wasn't sure of that, but that hasn't changed over the years. Um, and then we talked about how, well, it just seems kind of strange that the whole world is supposed to be this one unified place, yet I can't even get particular alcohol. And if you want to sell me a jacket that you used to wear five years ago, you got to pay tax on it unless you sell it to your friend in the little town next to you. As soon as you want to start shipping it, it's going to cost you. It just seems ironic that we're trying to promote this. There is no race. It's just all one people. But if you want to bring anything in from another country, no way, man. That's that's bad news. You know, we're going to charge you for that. What a time to be alive. And then the chat kicked off. Paula Erdbeard, upend. Guten Abend. How you going, Paula? Uh, everyone's saying good morning. AWF, hello. Good morning. Good to see you. Or good afternoon, good day, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Beyond Beauty in the house. Hello, Beyond Beauty. Uh, AWF, there was a shark attack at the place I surf. Dude, I want to look I want to look that up and get scared. So we'll do that. We'll come back to it, but hang on to that, man. Hang on to that. We'll come back to it. Scotty Ventures in the house. G'day, Scotty Ventures. How you going, dude? Haven't seen you for a while. Good to see you back. Uh, oh, Beyond Beauty is getting a manicure and a pedicure while watching. Now, manicure is hands, pedicure is feet. Huh? I'm not just, I'm not just a yobbo. I know this. And only Australians will know what yobbo is. And I'm not even a yobbo, but I'm just saying to be funny. Adrian Banks, good morning to the givers. Let us all pause for a second and say, happy birthday, Adrian. It's Adrian's birthday today. And he's in the chat. He's saying good morning to you. Now you all have to go and say, Happy birthday to Adrian. There you go. Um, VLB. Hello, VLB. I've seen you in the chit chat. Uh, not on the chit chat, in the comments on the YouTube channel. I appreciate your comments, dude. This little cheers is for you for joining the Gives a Minute YouTube live chat. Good to see you, buddy. No taking boogie boards to Bali. Yeah, well, yeah, you know. She knew what she was doing, let's say. Uh, Scotty Ventures answered the question. Okay, keep the time going in minutes. Yes, Scotty. You're the only person to answer, but therefore I've taken it on board. That's a 100% success rate. We're keeping it as the minutes. Now let's pull up the chit chat so you guys can all follow along as well. Um, yeah, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep this rolling out. I'm gonna be live for 61 minutes, but I will reference it and I will say, you know, 61 minutes is one hour and one minute, and then as it flows on and on and on. What actually? What is? Hey Siri, what is 12 hours in minutes? Hello, the internet. It is X date on the date of X date, and today I'll be live for 719 minutes. <laughs> 719 minutes. That's just stupid. 
So, uh, regarding the swell and regarding the surf, because you know what we want to do straight away. We want to we want to open this, right? But uh, I want to run the super quick wave a day edit first, give you the little sneaky peek of me sneaking into a couple of barrels. Or did he? And then uh, during that time when that rolls, I can duck out and grab some things for this opening. But um, regarding the barrel, so I have got excited in the past about barrels and I have been mocked. I will not, I wouldn't say mocked. Someone in the comments said, you know, like, dude, it's going to have to be way bigger than that for it, for you to call it a barrel. But the thing is, I've never been, I've, I've sat on the beach and I've been with a camera looking at a wave barreling and been excited, but I've never actually been riding a wave that's barreled. Whether I'm in the barrel or the barrel's kicking me in the head or it's a little bit ahead of me on, on the face of the way, whatever it is, I've never had that experience. And I've, I've obviously paddled out and duck dived and looked at a barrel and I've, I've been like, yeah, but I've never ridden one. So for me to get up on one, this was like a wave a day, was it last season? I think it was last season. I was pumped. I was like, yes, this is what I want to do with surfing. I want to get a barrel. I don't really care for big wave surfing. like you know, Nazare and all that crap. I don't really care for that, but I do really want to get myself into a barrel. This happened here yesterday, and I realized that I might have tooted my own trumpet once again too quickly. The barrels were barreling, but did I get in them? Well, how about you decide? Welcome back to the Super, Super Quick, Quick Wave Day, day Edit. <laughs> Now this is the second time this has happened on my wave a day. I've got so excited and so stoked thinking I'm getting my head into a little barrel and it's not until I come back upstairs and start doing the edit that I realize it wasn't really barreling and you didn't really get your head in anything and you look like a fool. So with that being said, have a look at me getting so stoked but actually not getting barreled. that this right hand section is firing. I may have come out blazing. It may not be firing, it may just be smoldering. But let's see, huh? Let's get away. What do you think? Smoldering or firing that first ride? I'd say there's a smolder, potential for firing, don't get me wrong. Oh, it's Yeah? Yeah? 
Possibly. Possibly. Maybe. It might have been. So you see what I mean? Not really a barrel, but I just get super excited and super pumped up about it. One day it will happen, trust me. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to get myself barreled here with these treasers. And you guys can go back to the live stream. Listen, getting low here, keep low with that barrel. This, this table could be the wave breaking over, keep down. Tuck up, lean back. Oh shit, dude, you're live. Quick, 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 quick. Put the mic back up, quick, quick, quick. And welcome back to the Gives a Minute. I was gonna say D Live. Okay, I was being silly. I have been trying to get myself barreled and I've been trying to duck under everything I can possibly see. The table here feels like a barrel. I was underneath there, keeping low. You know what I've got to do though? And uh, this is what Benny told me as well in the chat on DLive. I don't think he's in here right now. Um, I've got to lean back. So you step back onto the tail of the board and that slows the, the board down. So what I've been doing, by the way, I'm out of breath because I was too, much, too busy barreling myself. Um, what I've been doing is getting on the wave looking at the barrel coming, and then I've just been fanging it down the wave. That's not right. You've got to reposition yourself. You've got to maneuver yourself into the barrel. And by stalling the board, pushing down on the back, you then get pushed back up the wave into the pocket. Now, of course, all that only works on a bigger wave, right? If you're having to crouch up like this, it's going to be very difficult to do all that. So we do need a bigger, cleaner swell. Sorry, not cleaner, that was clean, but we need a bigger swell. And I think we've got it out there today. So either I'm gonna eat shit and die, or I'm gonna come back with a barrel from today's wave of day. We'll, we'll, you guys will see tomorrow. Um, now looking back in the chat, everyone's saying happy birthday to Adrian. That's very nice of everybody. Look at all that love going down. Racing Gamer's in the house. G'day the Racing Gamer, good to see you back. Um, Northrop MJ's back, she got in. Nice to see you back. There you go. The weather at Colborough looks about the same as Northwest Sydney or as Sydney now, now Sydney. I think he, I think he means North, not Northwest. Yeah, the weather could be. Random, g'day random. Welcome to the chit chat, dude. How you going, man? That cheers is for you. We've never seen your handle here before. So it's good to see you in here. To answer your question, not yet. It's still behind me. We are gonna crack it very, very soon. Thank you for answering the questions. All right. Was anyone else a little surprised that Benon was not on Grinder after that wave a day? Grinder, I'm on Tinder. Um, I've had a couple of, well, do you call this success? You know what? I can't show a Tinder profile on, on the YouTube machine. She might not like it. Um, the conversation, I don't like, I don't get this, right? I'm not, I'm not going to show it to you, but I'll read it to you. Um, let's, let's make up a fake name. Um, uh, her, her, uh, how can I opposite this? Let's let's opposite her name. Um, Steel Steel Young. Her name is Steel Young. Hey, Steel Young. That's that's a loose opposite to her real name. If anyone can work that out, but bonus points in the system of points, which don't go anywhere, by the way. Um, hey, Steel Young. How's your Friday going? So we matched. Uh, so can I give my real name? Um, hey there, Ben on. Uh, so glad that Friday is over and into the weekend. I've just been hanging with the family today. It's been lovely. How's your weekend going so far? I said, that sounds ideal. I've just had a surf and now about to have a Saturday drinky poo. Nothing. Now, is that because I'm going to cover her name up? Oh no, I can't. You're still going to see it. Is that because, um, I said the word drinky poo. Maybe she went, what's this dickhead using that word for? Or did she then search me and come across my online profile and then go, not a chance. Who knows? Uh, okay, so uh, da, 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 Grindr. No, I haven't been on Grindr. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not my style. Uh, hey, I'm Orange Maniac. Hey. Now that could be two things there, uh, random. You could be saying, I'm in Orange, the place Orange, and you're a mechanic. Or you could be saying, hey, I love the orange fruit, 
orange. I can't work out what that is. Um, Tim says, I thought he already was. Thought he already was on, on, on Grindr. <laughs> um, your, your, your handle is Orange Maniac. Is that what you're saying, Random? Okay, okay. I don't remember that. Um, I'm sorry. I've got a terrible memory. Uh, what are we doing again? What are we doing live? Oh, we're opening the jacks, of course. Northwest Sydney. Uh, Sydney. Yeah, you're at Windsor. Oh, of course. Okay, sorry. I thought you... Yeah, okay, gotcha. I bet he has another bottle under the desk. I actually don't, Paula, but you sneaky little bugger. That's a good idea. I wouldn't use the word drinky poo too old-fashioned a bit like you. Okay, there you go. Oh, random, you're the guy from the last stream. Oh, and you were Orange Maniac in the last stream? Man, my memory's terrible. I'm sorry for that, dude. I don't mean, I don't mean, if anyone comes in here and they say, do you remember me? And I don't, it's not intentional. It's just the small amount of brain cells I've got. They've already got a hard time. They've got to deal with me all the time. You know, it's it's difficult enough just putting up with this all, all day in itself. And then to have to remember things, forget about it. It's almost impossible. Almost impossible. I just changed my name. Okay, no worries. Well, I'm going to take that cheers back then. That's a reverse cheers uh, for not... That's a reverse fears for a reverse cheers for coming in with another profile. Huh? Huh? But we are here to open the jack. Every 10 streams on the Gives a Minute D Live stream... How can I... How can I possibly make sure I don't say that spiel on YouTube? It is super difficult. I get into the character, I get into the habit, I get into the mode, I get into the system, and it just flows off my tongue. Here on the Gives a Minute D live stream. You know why it flows off so well? It's because the letter D, D, it's got like this full, it's a punchy word, it's a, it's a, it's a hard hitting, like you, YouTube, just doesn't have that D, it doesn't have that, smack you over the head grab but anyway it is what it is and i'll probably do it more often than you know kooky sound effects just like you exactly i think that's why i said it racing gamer it is me drinky poo she might have been a, you know she might have been cute going oh he used the word drinky poo i think she went he used the word drinky poo <laughs> unswipe hey by the way folks this is the gives a minute YouTube stream, part of July, every day live for the month of July. Now, this is the thing that Danny Black created, invented, harvested, gave birth to, plucked out of the stratosphere, and it's his thing. And I've put a little linky poo in the chat to where is Danny Black's YouTube channel, just so you can go over there and say, hey, man, we liked the July thing. Uh, are you going to do it again next year? Now, you know he's not doing it on YouTube this year. You might want to coax him back to YouTube. He's gone across to Facebook for some freaking reason. But anyway, he's got a lot of success there and he's got a lot of an audience there. So he's he's hammering that. But maybe you might want to do the right thing and say, Danny, we thought your live was great. We enjoyed watching Gives a Minute do it. Why don't you come back to YouTube and do it as well? And maybe he will. Who knows? It could. It's anyone's game. It's anyone's decision. I've enjoyed it here on YouTube and on the DLive, I've got to say. Now, Julive hasn't been DLive. That's not what I've been doing, but it's just coincidental that I've been live every day on DLive because I'm enjoying it. And I think it's good to be on a new platform up front, right up, like right at the start. And I've yeah, got a good got a good system there, got a good following, got a good amount of crew, and I am going to pump the DLive as well. Here in the chit chat is my DLive. If you want to go over there and see it, you're welcome to. I'll be there live this afternoon. Usually, once we've opened up a bottle of Jack, I will then consume that Jack on the DLive later on, as well as here on the YouTube. But unfortunately, with what we've got behind me, I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm going to eat it. Eat it? Did I just say I'm going to eat it? Man, that's the fourth forage slap, isn't it? I'm going to come away with this from. I'm going to come away from this with a headache. Um, Lisa Smart in the house. Hello, Lisa Smart. Good morning. Welcome back to the Gives a Minute Chit Chat. You're here at the right time. We are going to open up a bottle of Jack, special bottle of Jack. It is called Old Number Seven. Now, this bottle is special in the sense that. What we're looking at here is a 50 mil bottle of Jack Daniels. Is that gonna focus? Get my hideous eyes out of the way. Oh crap, there you go. So why this is individual and why this is special is because here in Australia, we're on the metric system. See how it's got mil there, right there, 50 mil. If you're playing outside of Australia, you may see this 
but it will say centiliter, not milliliter. Now, by the way, if you're here watching just for the Jack Daniels opening, and I know a lot of people are, and a lot of people do watch these replays, thank you very much. This is the Gives A Minute YouTube stream. Every 10 streams here, we open a special bottle of Jacks. I wear my loveliest green shirt. I put my late father's cufflinks on, and we sit down and we taste some Jacks. Today, we are opening up the 50 mil glass, glass, bottle of old number seven. But what I'm doing right now in the chat, we've opened up several bottles so far on the Gives A Minute YouTube stream. And each one is a link, Ipu, right there in the chat, which is timestamp link. So if you wanna hit that link, once they all roll, they'll go straight to those previous streams where we literally opened up the bottle. So you got uh, 1907, which is the only, that's an Australian only release. So I thought we should kick off with that. That's like six weeks ago or whatever it was, 60, 60 streams ago. Um, then we opened up Tennessee Fire. Then we opened up the Legacy Edition number one, the first of seven rumored Legacy Editions. We opened up Tennessee Honey. And last week we opened up old number seven, one liter. Now you might say, dude, come on, man. You opened up the one liter version last week. And, and then in 10 days time, you opened up the 50 mil. That doesn't make any sense, dude. Well, here's the reason I've done that this time. Because of July, I figured I'm not going to blow my steam and blow off a really expensive, beautiful bottle of Jack's if it's only going to sit there for 10 days. Because I said it's every 10th stream, so that rolls out every 10 days. But if it's not July, those 10 streams are quite far apart because they're only weekly streams. And that's why I've gone and chosen a relatively common Jack Daniels product. I'm not going to put up there for the next, I wasn't going to put up there for the next, for the last 10 streams, a really nice bottle. And then it only stays there for 10 days. You know, it's got, it's got to have some validity, validity, validity. Now I have been waffling. We'll get to the deets of this, but I want to get back into the uh, chat just to see what I've missed in case I've missed some, some stuff. Hey, don't get too drunk, random. I won't, man. And that's the thing with enjoying whiskey as I do and enjoying home brews when I do. You don't need to get drunk off it. Just enjoy it. These are really nice. You know, Jack Daniels have a really nice flavor. They've got a real nice thing going, just like my home brews. So no need to get drunk. Austin in the house. Hey, man, been sub since 1K and found you again. Austin, wow, dude. This cheers comes into you, buddy for joining the Gives A Minute YouTube stream. So you've been sub since 1K, but you haven't watched since since the 1K point? That's really unique, dude. I appreciate you coming back, man. Really good to see you. Um, things, A lot of things have changed since 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate this. This is really cool. Uh, Lisa Smart says, it's a shame I'm allergic to alcohol. That is a shame. Oh, I guess you've got to find your, um, you've got to find your vices elsewhere then, Lisa. So you can't have any alcohol, not not just whiskey, but you can't have like anything, like beer, vodka, schnapps, anything. How about this, folks? Austin in the house, dude, this is so rad. You know what I wanted to do? At one point, I wanted to go back into my channel and dig up those kind of things, those kind of situations and try to like message people that were on the channel back then and say, hey, haven't seen you for a while. Do you want to just swing by the live stream? And Austin's here, like, Random says, mate, I love your beard. Do you really? I don't think I like it. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'm into it. I think I'm going to... I mean, this is only because I haven't done a snorkel mask review in some time. Uh, but as soon as that happens, I think I'm going to shave it off. Or I was thinking, start a donation fund for some random number to get me to shave it. But I, that's also not really fair because I, I just told you I'm going to shave it off anyway. So there's no point doing a, a fund for it. Steven says, you should try dry, dry July next year. Look, um, I'm all for July, um, dry July, like people that want to do that to raise money for, for whatever the charities and whatnot. Um, I personally don't have an alcohol issue. I don't have a problem with alcohol. I don't have a problem with anyone else drinking alcohol. Um, a lot of people come out saying their lives have been better because they stopped drinking alcohol. They've been sober for 48 weeks. That was that gift that... Tim put up. I've been for, I've been sober for forty eight weeks, not consecutively or anything, just in total. <laughs> um, I've I've got no problem with alcohol, and if 
if you can enjoy something, whatever it is in a good sense, like the moderated sense, then there's no need to do stupid things like Dry July and, and Movember and like, but I understand the raising money for, for, for certain charities and whatnot. I get that. Um, you know what? I kind of do, I kind of do Dry Julys somewhat like, Whenever I whenever I finish a batch of homebrew, I'm not one of those guys that has like thousands of homebrews ready to drink all the time. I make a batch, so it's about thirty about thirty four to thirty eight long necks, so seven fifty mil bottles. I make that batch. I wait for it to be ready. So that that whole process takes about two to three months, and then I drink them. When they're gone, the last one's empty. I start making the next batch. So there's always a gap there where I'm not really drinking much while I'm waiting for that batch. So I don't really have an, an issue with alcohol and I would never do Dry July, but thanks for the offer. Um, okay, real men drink single malt. Okay, okay. The hell with that, Dry July, Adrian says, it fits you. Okay, thank you. I can't have anything with alcohol in it, including cleaning products and shampoo conditioner. Well, you wouldn't want to be drinking those anyway, Lisa, just a little tip there. But um, it's, you went on Dora the Explorer last year. And it was so hard. Mocktails are my go-to. Oh, you mean the ship, Dora. Okay, I thought you meant you were on the show or the TV or the movie or something. Okay, folks, enough rambling. Let's get back to the jack. I've already got it here. So this is available globally. You can get this anywhere. But like I said, your version may be the centiliter version and also it may be the plastic version. The most common place you will see this 50 mil version is on airplanes, right? Um, I can't travel internationally without having uh, three or four of these up front and then a couple more while I watch a movie and then I go recline that seat all that way back to there and go to sleep. So that's where you may have seen this one before. It's not like you're going to go out and buy it at the store like uh, let's go and get a bottle of booze and you go come back with this little little ditty. It's not it's not going to be the kind of thing that you really go for. Um, but it is the old number seven, what I call regulation old number seven. Now, Jack Daniels don't refer to this as regulation. I do. I'm a little bit weird. It's just the way I kind of distinguish just the regular off the shelf old number seven. That's what they call it. Old number seven is their product. This is mellow drop by drop through 10 feet of sugar maple charcoal. That gives it its sweet oaky flavor. They also then put it into handmade barrels. See, even... Even Jack Daniels are getting barreled. Man, I can't even get a barrel. And they've got their own handmade barrels. Maybe I should go to the Jack Daniels distillery and get myself in a barrel. <laughs> oh, that could be fun. I don't think I'd get out of it though. Um, the interesting thing with this product is it is deemed ready to drink, not when some date, like some ambiguous date arrives. We will have this on the shelf uh, after it's matured for X amount of months and then we'll put it in the dry store. And No, the master distillers not from a bottle, they take it from the from the barrel, smell it, get a visual on it, taste it, and that's when they say, yeah, this one's ready, or this one's not ready. And when it's ready, it's freaking ready. I think that's cool. I think that's a, it kind of fits with my sort of approach. You know, something's ready when it's ready, and it doesn't need a, like a, a, a form or a structure behind it, even though I'm mo the most structured formatic person you could imagine. 40% alcohol by volume, no difference in the little ditty bottle. It's still the 40%. With all that being said, Jack Daniels recommend you consume this the way Jack says, on ice, chilled with friends. Got the friends here right now. Got myself a glass with ice. Let's have it. I'm going to open it. Now this is only 50 mil, so you know I, I do mix my jacks uh, more uh, liberally, like a 50-50 mix, more more so. So this one is going to be all in in one. And as you can see, with a glass of ice, that is not uh, a huge amount of jacks. That's that's just that's just a regular. Oh, smell that. Oh yeah, did you get it? Oh man, did. I know what I like, and Jack Daniels make a great whiskey. Hey folks, cheers to 60 streams on the YouTube machine. Cheers to everyone sticking around and having fun with me. Cheers to people like um, Alston who's come back after 1K and he's jumped back in. I appreciate that. Thanks everybody, I'm gonna tap that. I'm gonna sip this.
Do you know what? In a weird kind of way, I'm going to say this in a strange way, because it's in a small glass, there's a little number on the back there through the glass. It does have a different, it has a perception of a different flavor. You know, last week we opened up the whole one liter bottle. Is it possible that is it possible something else is going on here? I don't I don't think there's possi a possibility of that, but it just has that somewhat slightly different Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I, it, it's it's probably a mental thing. I'm probably putting this this projection out there, but it's not actually happening, but it does it feels it actually tastes a little bit more tart, if you like, a little bit less smooth for some reason. Um, more than likely that's just me, but I'm just saying. And it's got that aftertaste as well. Huh. This is unique. I'm glad to be sharing this with the givers. Now, I'll tell you what would happen in an ideal world. I'd cheers you again, by the way. It would be great to have someone next to me here on one of these 10 streams and say, dude, how about this? You know, like imagine, imagine having... Imagine having a, a setup like the H3H3 podcast or even the Concrete podcast where we could sit in a room. Like, this is my freaking bedroom. In an ideal world, I'd have a studio. And imagine sitting down there around a table and having the bottle and, and being able to talk, you know, like... That's where I want this to go eventually. Now, I know that it's a long, long, long way away, but at least we've got something started here. And, and you guys are here from the beginning. Um, the Pacific... Piano Pacific Explorer, we call her Dora the Explorer. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, Lisa. Um, you didn't know that about Jack Daniel. Yeah, like a lot of people don't know this about these products. And 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 you know what the strange thing is? A lot of the American crew, um, not a lot of them, Mindy's one, but she's I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying all Americans, I'm just saying in America, the Jack Daniels old number seven whiskey isn't regarded very highly. Um, there's plenty of other options for you to 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 grab for whiskey, but in Australia, it's kind of Oh geez, it's kind of strange. Like, I know what I like, and it's definitely Jack. And a lot of Australians follow suit, and they they rate it very highly. So, it must be strange for an American to see a, an Aussie consuming your own product from your local. If you live near Tennessee, it's like this is my local whiskey, and you guys are smoking it like it's the best thing in the on the world. Um, it kind of is. It's really really good. And so I just know what I like. And yeah, smells great, says Mindy. It totally does, man. And you know, look, let's be honest. It is nine, it's 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 nine o'clock in the morning for me. So this is an unusual time to be drinking whiskey. Um, but I'm doing this for the givers. Exactly, um, Mindy, the barrels are not all identical. That's what I was thinking. When when I said like, when I, when I was saying this tastes different, I was thinking, have they taken like, in my mind, because it's such a small amount of liquid, they would have taken it from the one source. But in a one liter bottle, there may be the possibility that they've mixed like barrel sources. But here being such a small ladle, if you like, it would probably all come from the, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll never know unless I get to the distillery and sit down with the master distillers and, and learn. But um Random, have you ever been to Croatia? I have actually, and I've vlogged it. It's on my channel. You can actually search for Z Zagreb. We played a show in Zagreb. You can check it out. Actually, you know what, man? Funnily enough, you should ask that, Random, because, oh no, Random asked, not um, uh, not Austin. Austin would, sorry, forget what I was gonna say. It's irrelevant. Random, yes, go back and have a look on my channel. You will see it. I've been to Croatia. We, we played a couple of shows there. Um, so in Germany, the bottles of Jägermeister are under Berg and Underberg. They have them at the checkouts. Yes, they do. Yes, they do indeed. Um, Underberg is a unique German beverage. Uh, it's a herbal, like almost like a medicinal. It's about 35% from memory. Um, it's very nice. Uh, you have to be... Um, you have to be of the palate, sort of like... You need to like your your licorice -y sort of um, tangy uh, medicinal sort of styles of of beverage to like Underberg. 
if you like your, your Jägermeister, you, you're halfway there, but Underberg is even sort of a, another step in the, the tart area, if you like. My father used to have Underberg as a hangover cure. They come in these little little bottles like this, but they've it's almost like a, a full bottle, but a shrunken version. It's even got a brown plastic, a brown paper uh, bag wrapped around it. So it's like you're you're it's like you're a wino consuming booze without anyone knowing. You got it in a brown bag, and they come in a little miniature little carry carton of like twelve. I think it's twelve or twenty four. And yeah, my father used to drink it for uh, hangover cures whenever he would wake up with his mates um, after a heavy night boozing. Yes, uh, mixed with Dr. Pepper. Wunderberg with Dr. Pepper? Is that what you're saying? Or Jaeger? It's an everyday pleasure in America, Beyond Beauty says. Yes, okay. Have I tried Croatian beer? I have indeed, man. Good questions, random. Good questions. Um... So have I been, yeah, we've done that. Well, the barrels are not identical. Okay, mixed with Dr. Pepper. So Beyond Beauty, we talked yesterday. Oh, no, no, there was a there was a shark attack. Who put that up in the chat way back when? AWF, are you still here? Um, if you've got a link to that shark attack, can we please have a look at it? Because that scares me and I want to learn more about it. If you are still here in the chat. Uh, random, which Croatian beer are you thinking of when you say that? And by the way, are you in Croatia? Are you Croatian? While we while we hear back from AWF, why don't we jump across to my YouTube channel, um, and we can find that link um, for the Croatian vlog. Hey, Danny Black's in the house. G'day, Danny. How you going, dude? Uh, what mixed with Dr Pepper? That's what I was wondering. I think I think Beyond Beauty was referring to Jack with Dr Pepper, but I don't. I, the conversation was about um, Underberg. Have, do you guys have you guys seen what Underberg is? Do you want me to pull that up? Let Let me just show you. And Underberg literally translates from German to under the mountain, which is almost like, uh, I guess, a hangover, hangover cure. That's a really old carton of it. But um, if you go to the images, I guess. Oh, random is in Croatia. Okay. I, you know, you know your capital, Zagreb. Well, we played there. We... Yeah, I've got it on. We actually played there with this band, Apocalyptica. Uh, there are these guys are a um, Finnish cello band. They play rock music with cellos, and we were touring with them, and we we played your your city Zagreb. Yeah, and then we hit up uh, Slovenia as well. That was beautiful. I love Slovenia. Um, a lot of people in the south uh, drink Dr Pepper with Jack. Okay, cool. What I've got coming up here is I'm trying to find the Gives a Minute channel. Danny, it's good to see you, man. How's how's your uh, Jew live on the Facebook going, man? We every time I mention you, I say, Danny Danny Black started this Jew live thing, and he's decided to do it on Facebook. Why would you want to? But then it's up to you, and of course, and I'm just being silly. But how's it going for you over there, man? How's it how's it all rolled out? So if I search here, um, this is the Gives a Minute channel, but my mouse ain't working properly because of the. Oh, there you go. If I go to Zagreb. I'm sure that'll come up. The Liddell shops in Slovenia, yeah, man. There's a lot of them around. So this looks like it. This one here looks like the um, Croatian vlog. I can't be sure. I don't want to help YouTube advertisers by answering one question. The answer is no. I want whoa, 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 let's turn that down. I don't want to play this vlog because I might get copyrighted, infringed. But I'm pretty sure this is the one. That starts off in Vienna. From from looking at that, that's Vienna. Austria. Yeah, that's Slovenia. That's Slovenia right there. Let's watch a little, huh? Well, you know, you, you, I know you do. However, haha, I've also have done some stream. You've never done stream timber, only the streamer. Paula says Slovenia is awesome. Um, Danny, I'm not sure what you're referring to there. Are you going to do stream timber and all that, all that as well? Let's have a look at this, eh? That happened to me. <laughs> We are now in Slovenia, in Ljubljana, and unfortunately, for me anyway, it's a shame it's really poor weather. I wanted to go and explore das this city a little bit, Vetter. because I had been here in 1998, I think, 97, with, um, with D Kramer, who you might remember from uh, vlog number two. Anyway, 
vlog number two. Such is life. Have a look at our way. backstage room on this particular show. It's a teepee. That's right, they had like a makeshift. Super cozy. A teepee in, in the middle of this room. Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna stop drinking beers. <laughs> Who am I kidding? So this is Tracer. Now we're in Croatia. We are in Croatia. Oh, gotcha, Danny. Yeah, gotcha. It's still raining. Gotcha. The rain has gone all the way straight through from Slovenia to Croatia. However, I have a little bit of time up my sleeve. Oh, random. I'm going to go for a wander. That would be rad random. If you could translate this vlog into Croatian, that'd be sick, dude. I love your cities, man. Best thing about wandering through a city that you don't know, you don't know what you're going to find. And the Croatian women, holy moly, dude. You have some of the most beautiful women in the I found a park here. I've got to say. But I'm sort of stuck with the same problem I had last time when it was raining in Hungary. I've got to be careful with this camera because it's not weather sealed. Look, this is the park I want to go and have a look at. I want to go and explore it. But I'm very careful about the amount of water that's hitting this camera. If I I'm just miss these super quick, maybe I can go and have a quick sneak Gotta say, Gotta say, I miss this. What a lovely park. It's really hammering down with rain now. I, gotta, I, I can't be out here any longer. This camera's soaked. I'm concerned that it's going to stop working. I gotta get back. This coffee is gonna be in here soon. Tonight in Croatia, I'm gang bang! Doing right. something gang bang. slightly different. Toilet fun! Gang bang! Tonight. Consent noise. Tonight in Croatia, I'm doing something slightly different. They were doing that so I'm, I'd get um, demonetized. Well, it's not that not that unusual. It didn't work. I mounted a GoPro onto Dre's cymbal stand right here, like this. Bit of bit of gaff, and then this is what Dre will see from his position. He will see that. And bang that's... bang! <laughs> They're making this really difficult for me yeah, to no You know what, I'm not going to edit yet. any of this. This is all going to go in. Oh yeah! I do like that angle though. Let me see you! Oh man, this makes me want to go back these days so badly. Come on, let's see you now. Drinking the Jack as well. This hey! is every every hey! show we had a one litre bottle on the rider. And we drank it. <laughs> After the shows, not before the shows. Well, sometimes during the shows, if it was an ending of a tour show. Paula, it'd be, and there's so much Germany. Paula, we played your, your country so many times. Run, you can hide. The sun has come out, but and I tell we you are what, back in this... Ljubljana in Slovenia. This video is called Sneaky Cowbell because at the beginning of it, there's a funny thing that happens in Vienna where I, where Dre, how, how can I show it to you? You know what? I'll just get to the point. I'll scroll to the point when Dre talks about it. This is in, in Austria. We'll just go from here. Just to try and photograph people as soon as they get out of the toilet so they're not expecting it. And I just tried it with Lockie. Oh, this is not. This is this is a bit didn't before. Didn't even him. flinch. He just looked to me and went, oh, "Okay," and then walked Gang, off. Bang! <laughs> yeah. And I tried to get them demonetized, but it Lockie didn't work ever. This video is still monetized. All those 435. Got a little videos. sneaky surprise from Dre. What do you got for us? So uh, today, I snuck out to a music store and I bought a cowbell because there's not enough cowbell on this tour. <laughs> and no one else knows about this? No one knows. And Mike always giggles like a schoolgirl when I play cowbells. And what song is the goodness going to happen in? Uh, I'm going to use it to count in We're Only Animals tonight. Okay. Normally it's a hi-hat count. 
Yeah, well, Cannon and with this and Mike will probably miss the intro of the song. I'm going to be standing right here and I'm going to film this way so I can see you hitting it and then I can see Mike's reaction towards you. Are you ready? Surprise cabin. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, so perfect. This is such a good thing. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> this is so much fun, man. I really miss this. Would you fuck me? I okay. fuck me hard. <laughs> Hard like <laughs> He's naked there, that's his pack. That is the worst thing that has Jesus. ever happened to me. <laughs> that's our sound engineer. Uh, look, I could watch this we shit. We are now in Slovenia. I could watch this shit all day, and, and sometimes I do, I've got to be honest. But um, that's not the point of today's stream, I suppose. But uh, we did drink a lot of Jacks, and those times were really, really special to me. Really important part of my, my makeup, if you like. Um, and I'm definitely reflecting hardcore now here by having a Jax and talking about it and, and rolling that stuff. And look, I mean, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have played that if it wasn't for um, random asking me about Croatia. Like, yeah, if you if you come into the chat and say, "Have you been to Croatia?" and I have been to Croatia, and coincidentally I've vlogged it all, and then I want to play it because you know we've had a couple of Jacks or we've had one Jax. Yeah. Interesting times, interesting times. Um, Angle was rad. Thanks, Danny. Yeah, I love putting that that GoPro there. I, I wanted to get more GoPros at the point, um, but I didn't have any connection to GoPro back then. Gang bang! What a what a gang bang! What what the hell did I come back to? Travel Jet said it just came into gang bang. Um, nice hairy guy here. Yeah, I I I think I'd rather a little bit of growth on my face. Not a. I don't I don't think I like this, like this. But I'm willing to let it go for a while and see what happens. But I think I'd rather just to like a three or four day growth. Um, I knew I wasn't the only person who heard Gang Bang. I mean, what? who said that looks around you? <laughs> Real goes, yeah. Um, I'm not German. It's bad enough being an Australian. Don't take it to the next level. Paula, you're, aren't you German? What, you, no, you, are, you're a, are you an Aussie living in Berlin? Ah, gotcha. He got his pecker hiding in his legs. Yeah, he, he, that's right. He, he did the female, uh, the male female, pulled his pecker back, back behind his his uh, legs and then showed off to Lockie. And Lockie, you don't want to see that. You know what it's like, man. Danny, you 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 know from your uh, international touring and or sorry, back to America touring and whatever. You know what it's like when you when you've been away. Like at that point, we'd been on the road for probably three and a half weeks or something, and you're missing like I. On that tour, I think I was single on that tour. That's that's after the bust up, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I would have been single. But back in the day when, when I had a partner and we were touring, by three weeks in, you are like, man, I am missing, missing my girls so bad. And you don't want to walk out of a shower and see the dude that you share the bus space with. You don't want to see him naked. You don't want to... You, you, you just you just want a little bit of space to yourself and you it's just so funny it's just so stupid uh racing gamer my dad makes his own drinks on rare occasions he takes alcohol and puts orange peels and stuff in it dude that racing gamer are you in australia because can you send me some of that like for real and i know we can do that if you are in australia because there's no legal laws against sending alcohol across a state border but there is if you want to send it across a continent Heaven forbid you want to send it from America. Um, Rolgozia, yeah, that's too, but that's touring, Rolgozia. That's just that's that's what it is. And Danny says it's the best. It it it's the best and it's the worst. It it was the it was the blurst of times and it was the best of times. You know, like you go out there on tour and you're like, yeah, we're going out, we're going out on the road. It's gonna be wicked. And then within about Two and a half weeks, you realize that this dude and this dude and this dude and that dude, they're the only dudes you're going to see 
for as long as you're out there, it's like, okay, I love you, man. I think you're a great guy. Just get out of my face for, for a little while. <laughs> if you didn't see that comment. Oh, the racing game and I'm in New, New York. Okay, that could be tricky, man. Um, but I just have to say on the flip side of that, if you are a single person and you go out touring with a rock band and you happen to be the photographer, because i got to be clear, whenever I talk about this, I'm not saying I was a member of the band. I was a member of the traveling party with the band, the t tour photographer. And as a single man, let's just say it was a very interesting road experience. And at some point, maybe I can divulge stories from the road. We did have a game, a, a points game a points system game and that would be what you'd think it would be if you were single so mike in the band was single for some time mike is a good looking guy uh dre the drummer the one who went out and bought the cowbell he's always had a partner so he was never he, he lived vicariously through the single dudes um and jet bass player jetty and and mike mike got a girlfriend so he had to sort of bow out so it was jetty me and Lockie, the sound engineer who were the three single dudes and um yeah, there is, I can't really tell that stuff. I, got, I can't, I can't. And you'd have, you'd have to get a whole bottle of this and you'd have to give me a four hour stream before I could divulge that kind of stuff. Uh, Random says, I love your content, man. Keep up the great work. Thanks, dude. I'm, I'm planning on it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm planning on keeping up the great work, planning on going harder with the work and, and making this even better than what it is and getting, and yeah, thank you. I'm not going to give up. I appreciate it. He had it. Yeah, he had his pecker hiding in his legs. Yeah, he did. Sorry, Paula. So you are. Oh, okay, so you said yes. So you're an Aussie living in Berlin. Okay, cool. But what about your fa your family name? Erdbeer. That's that's a German name. So you must have you must have German heritage in your bloodline. And that may be why you're in Berlin. And whereabouts in Berlin do you live? Don't dox yourself. And I know we've already talked about Mustafa's, but do you live anywhere near Merring Dam Station or are you like way out further or what, what's... Um, I happen to... I After my bust up, right? After my breakup, I went over... So after that breakup, I came back to Sydney. I was living in Adelaide, came back to Sydney. And then the Tracer tour happened and I went over. We did a European tour. And my plan was to stay in Germany. And so I lived on Friedrich Friedrichstrasse. Friedrichstrasse. How can I find the name of that? In Berlin. Friedrich. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get this in time, am I? We, we are nearing the end of this stream. I'm going to pull this up. Oh, yeah. There's a map right there. This is going to... This is where I lived. Uh, Friedrichstrasse in Berlin. For about... Uh, let me say, here's this. Here's the street right here. Oh, you can't see my mouse, can you? Bugger. Um, anyway, I'll put a drop pin on there. No, I won't. Yes, I will. Pretty much right there. And I spent uh, a period of time of my life. Oh, dude, you can probably see see the apartment, eh? Oh, dude, this is so sick. You could definitely see the apartment. It's not letting me zoom in. What? What? It's anyway. It's um. It's kind of the you can't see. It's these white buildings at the back there. That's where that's where I spent like a, a period of time, and I really enjoyed it. But uh, my headspace wasn't there, and that's why I left. There you go, Paula. You know you know the one, right? Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to uh, to get to this. Paula Erdbeer. It's a fake name. A type of yogurt. Erdbeer means strawberry. Huh? I did not know that. That's interesting. I might go upload a video now, I might need to leave. No worries, random. I can hear my outro baseline rolling, so the stream's over anyway. Come back tomorrow for the last July stream. Wow, I'll be live for 61 minutes tomorrow, and then it's all over for July. Cheers, folks. Oh, that's um, we're out of time.